What's that state in the middle of the United States, uh, in the south there? Uh... Oh, don't, don't, don't play all the misery, please don't. I'll do it. <laughs> but is there a reason you're not annexing Wardenburg and Switzerland? Yeah, I'm waiting to inherit them. Uh, do you inherit them? It's not like you're Germany. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess yeah. I'll just eat them, I don't care. I can't restore order on Wurttemberg? Oh, I have to justify it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bavaria series, where I'm no longer Bavaria maxing, but I form the Danubian Confederation, gaining Albion, Rhenish and Pomeranian as accepted cultures. That's all the Germans. Just a reminder that the Albion Confederation cannot form Germany and they will never get Danubian as an accepted pop. So everything's going extremely well for my campaign, but in the last episode the dual monarchy had a complete disaster going on sanctions through his own mistake, getting attacked by Scandinavia for containment, losing parts of England, which have now gone to Bjornia. This was extremely concerning for countries such as mine, which rely on the dual monarchy. Another such country in a similar position is Italy. The DM actually spawned this country through the Construct Italy decision. Savoy didn't gain any new land, but he gained cores over the whole peninsula, meaning that he can take the land for less war score in a war. God, I wish the DM had a decision to construct Germany. But in order to actually take any of those cores, Italy needs to win a war against Aragon, which is no easy task. Aragon has had a good campaign. Even when the enemy alliance started losing wars, Aragon wasn't really the main target and he didn't lose that much land. He used to have an extra state on Spain and he used to have Provence, but even without those, still very strong. The only real problem for Aragon this campaign has been the alliance he's attached to, mainly Burgundy who has let him down. With Burgundy becoming a rump state, Aragon is very isolated now and he can't count on very much support. The Ottoman attitude towards Aragon is neutral with a slight desire for his North African land. But with the Italy player's mental health teetering on the edge of complete breakdown, and so many brutal complicated wars featuring truce blocks, the rules, and outside intervention from countries that just let everybody down like the DM and Burgundy, the three players here, Spain, Italy and Aragon, are coming to a gentleman's agreement to have a simple 2v1 war, which would be roughly equally balanced because Spain and Italy put together are about as strong as Aragon. So no outside countries hogging all the war score, no rule disputes, just a good straight up balanced gentleman's war, which will decide the fate of Italy. Also in this episode we're going to get an update from the Asian hug box and some interesting moves being made in America. Like the video, subscribe, check out all the links here if you're interested in supporting the channel. I've been complaining a lot lately about the monetization issues going on. If you want a very big detailed rundown of all that, I discussed it at length on a live stream recently. So you can watch that if you're interested in learning more about it. Enjoy the video. Danubi, are you are you are you like so uh, like wanting to keep Hungary still, bro? Wait, what? Are you talking to me? Yes. You want Hungary off me? Yes. <laughs> You're not getting it. I ain't getting it. You keep fattening but your why you didn't, Why that. don't you just get the, the Aragonese colonies like Libya and Tunisia? I already talked to him about it. I will get them. Don't worry about it. Bro, Ottoman Empire has very good diplomacy, very good army, very good economy. It's, it's unbelievable. I have 9 mil tech now. I'm, I'm just saying Danubia, you know? You're my main rival this game now. I'm not used to people calling me by Danubia, sorry. Uh, wait, what? why are we rivals? Oh yeah, 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 sorry, sorry bro. I gotta call you with your uh, YouTuber moist name. No, it's just because I just formed it, I was Bavaria. Why are you cutting ah, right of my uh, cores like it. this? Your cores. I, I I have spiritual cores on hunger, okay? You, you get me? What's even your literacy, you cock? 60, <laughs> 62%, mate. Guys, guys yeah, mine is, mine, mine is minus 30 right now, dude. <laughs> right, we get it. You killed Hungary, so you have a free game now. We get it. It's a good country. Well done. Yeah. Did he kill Hungary or did Hungary kill themselves? Didn't Hungary have another enemy? Yeah, you got PLC to kill Hungary with you. That's why this happened. That's right. Wait, there is Danubians in Hungary, what? Yes. Yeah, they are. It's probably yeah, that's why he wants Hungary. It's, it's following the Danubian river. river. Danubian people are anyone who lives by the Danubian river. 
What is your relation with uh, Elgan, guys? He doesn't seem to spend a lot of time in this voice chat. So I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. I should be friendly with him, but <laughs> I don't know. He's made these deals with Burgundy, which is awkward. I don't really find him sus, personally. I think he's trustworthy and cool, but... Sus? Sus, I know. I mean, look at his rebels. That's kind of sus. The brain and buggy and nationalists. Ethiopia is just a transfer doing nation. What else has Ethiopia done this campaign other than transfers? Nothing. It's, it's just. I mean, they have like, colonized. Uh, it's colonized. Oh, amazing. Uh, Arabia. The Ottomans doesn't give a fuck about that. He's just like, oh, bro, I want Hungary, bro. Meanwhile, Ethiopia is there. Bro, I have imaginary cores on Hungary, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I, I need my I need my 1600s map. Mehmed, bro. Oh, Mughals uh, westernized. Oh, Good no. China saved. Who just mobilized? I missed it. Just you guys? It's um, Spain. We're, we're, just, we're just doing a 2v1. If I puppet you, Lizard, are you going to immediately break out of the puppet? Or will you, <sighs> I don't know. Will I'll, I'll, honestly, if, you, if I lose the war fans, I'll leave. Okay. Ah. I don't plan on fighting more European death wars. I either want to form it now or die. Understandable. I don't want to be a lump state. I want to be an actual country. How That's much do you think I should leave in uh, Spain? Nothing. To hit? Maybe like a 30k stack of MOBAs. I'm actually excited for this war. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think this war is going to be fun. If you couldn't afford to fund, I would start doing so. Ben, are you making like any money? Because we're going to need No, money. I have 81k, dude. <laughs> Oh god. Here, I'll, I just, I'll just do zero education and zero admin. Well, I did like 30. Dude, watch, watch this 10,000 IQ buff. I'm gonna name an army for defense, even though it's not. <laughs> wow. Oh, that army's called for defense. He must have a for defense in there. Well, I mean, he has an army called Cena, so I know where Cena is. And he has an army called three defense, so I know where his three defense is. Maybe he named the army Cena, but he could have seen it elsewhere because you can't see him. Well, maybe see it could be it could be a catch twenty two. Well, my nation mm. is healing finally. So. Can you get everything moved up? Because there's there should be supply limit. I'm going. He's uh, going right into Medina right away. Okay, reinforce, reinforce Medina. Get everything in the battles that you can. You might want to leave Medina for digging, because it's only you've got 60k there. Okay, my five attacks in. He's moving to encircle you. Is he? Yes, he's moving to encircle you. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! In Trent. Hit him in Trent. You might have to pull out if not. No, we're but, winning the offensive battles. Yeah, I have 60,000 uh, that's going to land in Trent. Moving 30k into Masa. Yeah, to help uh, you have 60k in Milan. Get that to, get that to Masa. Get that to Masa. Masa? Okay. Masa, yeah. yeah. Uh, we just lost Verona. Please don't let this be a skills right. All right, uh, he got wiped. Uh, follow up okay. to Verona. All right, follow up. Yeah, follow up. I'm I somehow got there first. I'm getting a five attack. Oh, that's good. We can try to encircle him. We can try to encircle him. He's uh, going to get annihilated in Verona because of the artillery. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting my five in. They're losing Massa hard. Watch out. It's really bad, but we might have yeah. to pull. I'm going to pull back on the month deck. Pull back to Farmer now. Pull back to Farmer now. Oh, he's heading to Praskaya. Oh. Wait, 
Did we get wiped in Masa? What the hell happened no, there? No, no, no. We pulled out, we pulled out, we pulled out. Uh, one one Verona. Reinforce yeah, Briskaya? Yeah, yeah, everything in Briskaya, everything in Briskaya. Yep, moving back to Briskaya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Brescia. Uh, sorry, Brescia. No, he's moving around, he's trying to encircle, but it's fine as long as we have Sidi now as the man back up. Yeah, as long as we get a better reinforced to kill, we're fine. Uh, we pulled to Bergamo on the month deck, okay? When I say. Alright. Uh, How many days are in August? Um, I should know that. Uh, thir uh, 31. 31, okay. On the 30th, we pull out. You're going to want to go another day before that, no, on the 29th. On the 30th, we pull out. No. 29th? Alright, pull out now, pull out now, pull out now. Right. Alright, we get the reinforced tick and we're good. You only get the tick when you land in the province, I think, and you're not, like, retreating. I no, know, I yeah. think you get on retreat. No, we, I just got there. Okay. Yeah, we just got the massive reinforced tick. Right, so wait, hit, Milan, hit Milan, hit Milan, hit Milan. They're attacking you in uh, Bergamo. He's right. attacking I'm Bergamo. Gonna... Yeah, you just defend that and hit Milan at the same time, you'll be good. Yeah, yeah. Keep something in the mountain. Yeah, leave something in sort uh, sort A token defense. Oh, he's getting shredded. The token wasn't enough. Then. Oh man, we're just running siege, out of troops. Just siege him down and I it. We won. We won. Hold, 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 hold. Get everything in Milan, hold. We need to get a reinforced tech. Send your troops from Iberia into into Italy. Move them th through Aragon, mill access through DM into the friendly. Yeah. You'll need those. All right. Mm. Bane, ask for money and I'll buy the thing. You said you would sell... Uh, you are going to want to follow up to Brescia immediately. Yeah, Bane, Bane, I, need, Bane I need money. Someone give me money. In the battle already. We have a 9 to 0 roll. All right. I think he got stack wiped. I think that's why it's taking so long. Yeah, but we're going to miss the reinforced tick. No, it's fine. It's fine. Right, now follow oh, good, up. All right, we're good. You're going to get the reinforced tick, tick and we're going to hit him in Brescia, okay? You're going to do it while moving, so start moving. No, no, don't, 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 wait for the reinforced tick, wait for the reinforced tick. Stop. I said yeah, you're so going go. to get it while moving. Okay, okay, we're moving. We're not going to get there. He's going to get those troops out of Brescia. No, you could have hit them, did what I said. Yeah, we're going to spread out. Yep. Uh, hopefully we reinforce better than Aragon. I'm getting some artillery out right now, um, because I did lose some of that stack wipe. Hang on, Spain, move down, start moving down, we're gonna try to hit him in Modena, okay? No, listen to me, you need to get your organization up. Your org is so low. Pull back from Brescia. Pull back from Brescia, alright. Yeah, we don't, we don't want him hitting us there. Uh, Spain? We can try yeah. another month there, I'm going but... to justify on you for some point it's uh, forcing but... India. Make Wait, sure when we hit Macau, you don't, you don't have. What? I only agreed to Macau. Macau? Wait, who, who's talking? China? I'm no. India. No, listen. Hit okay, him. He's moving I into Brescia. Did, I didn't... What did I agree Shut the fuck up about Asian shit. Jesus you didn't. Gosh, nobody fucking cares. If you, if you are not going to do that, I'm, I'm going this, to deck on you. I recommend you do this. Uh, he's too busy to sh listen to your shit right now. He's not, like, fucking trying to cause an incident. Move down. Just say when to attack and where, I don't care. Okay. We can try Bessie, yeah? That might be the best. We might have to accept a river crossing anyways. Now, we're hitting on Bessie now. Bessie now. Alright! I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a 3 3 taking over. What do you mean, 3 3? I'll pull him out. I'll pull him out. He's hitting us in Parma, and we're winning in the Northern Battle, okay? Yeah. He uh, also has a, a bad general for the battle. Yep. yep. Please, this is the end. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure. Okay, yeah, we, we we need to reinforce this. We're about to get combat with. Uh, you can reinforce from Milan as well. This is a really Spot good battle. We're, we're crushing him. Uh, he's hitting in Parma. Uh, reinforce yes. Parma. Reinforce Parma. Can you spin? Right. I am. Yeah. Oh, you are. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on. Please. 
Focus on Thanks. war. Dude, shut shut up about transfers and stuff, please. For the love of God. Okay, we're oh. really crushing my Parma. We got a nine. Yeah. We're really good. All right, we're crushing him in both battles. It's mostly rolls right now, though. Oh. All right, we, we just want Parma. Ooh, fought Medina. Fo follow, follow up, yeah, hit Medina, hit Medina. You just want Braskaya. Follow up. Yeah, follow or up. I'm sending one stack to Trent, so I'm not getting skill issues again. Ooh, I got stack right. The general got skill issued. He's already on another stack. Yeah, honestly, don't put your generals on hussars like that. Mm, it can be worth it, but it's mostly late game stuff, so it's probably right there, honestly. Try encircling, try encircling. Yeah, uh, I... if you split that stack, we can try to encircle. Um, we could. Villain. I don't know, it's not going to uh, work, though. Follow up, uh, follow up to... Yeah, follow uh, up, follow up. You should win the war now. This is the definition of a good war, there's ups and downs. If he retreats out of Modena, you'll easily encircle him into Florence and Ravenna now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Bologna, Bologna, I say. He has moved troops to Florence. I say we get this encirclement. Oh, is oh, that a surrender? That's the surrender. There we go. I think my mistake in that war was trying to follow up after the first encirclement. You know, I'll take pride in saying I only raised my voice once. I had loads of people yelling at me, too, and it was like, I was... chill guys, let me fight my war. I wasn't even yelling at my allies, uh, I was yelling at... Um, India, India was coming here to demand the oh, war India. Talk. I was yelling at them a little bit in the war. Yes, that early yelling. encirclement was good. We didn't think of uh, guarding Trent. Oh, look at that reinforced tick. If only I'd gotten that. Fucking hell. Yeah, we, we, we were doing that. We were making sure to deprive you of the reinforced tick. Maybe I should have taken Naples, but I don't know. I guess the shape is a lot better. Yeah. Tripled your population or something like yeah, that? Yeah, more like 1.5 times like that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Navarro had a six defense general. I couldn't have gotten <laughs> it here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you didn't fucking try and wipe them, Spain. Spain listened to my advice instead of wiping Navarra to send the troops to fucking Italy. Hindustan just for him, there's 31 million pops of civilized yeah. nations. And they're allied to China, who also recently civilized. And Japan. And Indonesia. <laughs> oh, that, I forgot! Like, I already went through the massive size of their hog box, and I forgot Indonesia. Oh, he, he formed China. Wait, why are yeah. you black flag in my land? I'll be in I don't know, the rehost messed it up. Okay, well then go back to your land and come out. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is happening to. Look at Elbians, he's dying to rebels. You got sphered Belgians. Yeah, I, I, I saw the economic collapse. I mean, I can keep you on friendly 100 until you're actually in a war if you want. Uh, no, keep me scared. I need to build my army up, so. I mean, I think my military industry is okay, it's not actually that great, but... Spokane, do you have money? No. Nah. You being in my sphere hits my money as well, actually. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. Is the Elbians intentionally following the Jacobins? No, no I'm just Why do rebels keep rising up in Burma? Dude, shut up about rebels. I just had to do it. <laughs> shut up about rebels, they for PTSD. <laughs> but who would have known that deleting all the gold mines in the world would let lead to everyone getting money? I have a gold mine. What the fuck are you talking about? I have a gold mine. Not too. every. I, I almost every. The big one in China is gone. 
That's a real hugbox in the East. I mean, we're hugboxing a little bit, but we have precedents for this kind of hugbox in Europe. Yeah, Spain, Italy, DM is not that weird of a alliance. Still don't get the Rhineland deal. Yeah, I don't get it either. Well, now I'm not joining against them, so. But yeah. like, that's not gonna help them out. You, they gave yeah, up like what half a million, a million pots. God, I can't wait to blow these guys out in the next war and take everything back. Yeah, that would be nice. It will be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? I outnumber Scandi and Burgundy more than two to one now. So is your troop distribution between England and France good? Uh, no, I need to meet them. You don't want troops in England. You can't win there until you have naval supremacy. Oh, Poland. No. Yeah, Albians, can I take he Darmstadt like, like we agreed, actually? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Right. Play that Coldplay song, dude. That's my, that's my theme song this session. Viva la vida. I used to... Neighbor, can I get money, neighbor? Is this no! Magic? Yes, it is not. No, I'm not giving you money. Why? Because I need it for myself. Also, don't you want it? Never mind. He's allied with Russia, and you, you are yeah. <laughs> preparing to... I, I told him to not join Russia. If he joins, I, I go against him, and he didn't listen to me. So God, I don't care what we, what we will do. And after the war, he begged to me. He's actually eating Nedged, and the Ottomans doesn't give a fuck. Dude, I didn't even know we had an Ethiopia until just now. You wouldn't know we had a Japan, China, uh, <laughs> Mughals, Nusana. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> Dzungar. The Xianfeng. These are essential nations. They would be if they were doing anything. <laughs> Outside of Europe, there is no game. The problem is those countries are just scaling. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. One of them is a fanboy, so he's. But, like this is my point. Like think about the amount of bloodshed and st and strife it took for me to get half of Italy. Now look at Hindustan. He got all that for free. It's sitting on a million pops. He's civilized now. He's gonna have a massive industry. He's gonna have a massive army. He's gonna have a massive navy. It, like yeah. doesn't matter. English nationalists keep rising up against the Arnia. Why, mate, you're rising up against the wrong fucking people. They're your fucking people. Yeah, I mean, he accepts English, like... What are you fucking doing? You know, Come like, on, England, score some fucking goals. England is just like a disgusting melting pot of cultures right now in this game. You walk into the Midlands these days. Oh, there's a Han. Is, Wait, there's there's gotta Han. Speak all these languages. One percent Han and uh, yeah, Leister. Oh, the, are they assimilating to Bjornian? There's Han there. There's Bjornians. Oh there. yeah, he's getting immigration. That's why. Dude, he's getting a ton yeah. of Bjornians there. I guess the people who immigrate are actually assimilating. Decking GC 100. Oh, wait a minute. This is a great backstab, actually. This is different. Oh, based. Gogo, do you even know what's going on here? I mean, he told me he wanted to do that together. He hasn't informed me about this specifically. I guess it was a surprise attack. Columbia surrender on turns, all right. Where I got his army encircled. Yeah, that's a good move. This is just like that Spud Gun series, isn't it Spud Gun? No, this is massively different. <laughs> what is that series called again? Is that a Spud Gun reference? Wait, Vinland went on sanctions. Al. Vinland went on sanctions over this. Oh, you uh... fool. Now is the time for me to attack them. I mean, Aragon just took Istria, but I would have had to take the state. That's fucking good for the Belgian Confederacy. Especially if Grand Columbia is just given up on Vinland after that. I mean, if the Belgians goes after Vinland, takes him down, he's got a death spiral.
So when are we crushing Burgundy? Because the truces are up. We could do this. Yeah. Next session. I'm about to get ironclad, so I mean, should we wait until I can build a... I don't know. I feel like we could just destroy Burgundy on the land anyways. Like, hmm. Let's check. Burgundy has 100 brigades. DM, with all of your professionals, has... 211 brigades. Yeah, you can crush him. He's just worried about losing more of England. Yeah, but I don't think that's a good I mean, I guess they it, but... With separate surrenders and stalemates and all this shit, they can take more. Well, that was an excellent war, both sides fought very well. There were a few occasions where it could have gone either way, and both sides had clear things where they could have done better, such as better micromanagement of good generals. But this is something that all the players know, it's just difficult to micromanage at the time, and we can easily look back on it in hindsight. But it turned out to be more or less the reason that Aragon lost the war. This was the second battle of Brescia here on the second phase of the war. Aragon moved up to occupy it, and then Spain and Italy launched a huge attack against it. Aragon never recovered from this battle, he took just over 2 to 1 casualties. It resulted in a series of retreats and follow ups from Spain and Italy, where he never got a chance to reinforce again and ultimately got encircled. Funnily enough, as I pointed out at the time, even Italy could have done better here because they had a 5 attack general and the scripted 3 3 general took over, but that was still more than enough to overcome what Aragon had, which was no good general at all. Imagine if he somehow managed to bring over the Basque general into this battle, it would have been very different. While the Second Battle of Brescia was ongoing, Aragon also attacked Parma. He did put his 3-3 general into this, but also took overwhelming casualties, which I think we can actually put down to rolls. But it was also just a bad attack to do when he was losing Brescia so hard, and it meant that when he lost these battles he had nothing, no reserves to fall back to when Spain and Italy followed up, resulting in a convincing defeat. To go into this in even more detail, Aragon retreated Parma and Brescia too early, he missed out on potentially huge reinforced ticks because Spain and Italy were able to follow up and commence battles before it ticked into January. This management of reinforcement ticks, which Spain and Italy talked a lot about, was one of the ways in which they micromanaged better than Aragon, and it's a very important thing to keep track of in micromanaging your own wars. There's one tiny mistake in this war that I'm involved in, and I would be remiss not to mention it. When I told Spain to move his troops from Iberia over to Italy instead of attacking Navarra, nobody realised and nobody pointed out that it technically wasn't legal. He can't move from hostile territory into neutral territory in the dual monarchy. You could only move from friendly territory without a battle in it, so he would technically have to occupy an Aragonese province bordering the DM, then move. So a slight, minor, tiny, insignificant rule break that had no impact. But the Aragon player technically has the legal right to come back about a year and a half after the campaign happened and overturn the result of this war, and will revert to a save before the war happened and keep playing the rest of the campaign. So where does the defeat in this war leave the once great nation of Aragon? In about four pieces. Geographically this might seem like the end, but Aragon is still there, the player has not left yet. In fact, even after he lost this war, he conquered that little bit of Istria that Venice still had. His population is still quite formidable, still a lot more than Italy, a little bit more than Spain. The Aragonese heartland is always southern Italy anyway, and that region wasn't touched in this peace deal. So we'll see what happens to Aragon in the future, if they can make any kind of recovery. But from the Danubian perspective this was very good, my close ally of Italy has been greatly strengthened and it seems like he's on his way to fully forming his nation. He has pledged to support me in the future against, for example, the Ottoman Empire. Well, we have to talk about Asia now, where two very important countries have been formed, Hindustan and also China. Hindustan is actually an intermediary formable, with a very unfortunate colour. Hindustan doesn't have the southern Indians accepted yet, when they get a little bit more of that land, I'm not exactly sure what it is, they can form Bharata, which is a really nice purple colour. I'm sure they'll get that after a couple more transfer wars. To the northeast of that, we've got the full formation of China. In order to form that, Japan transferred Manchuria to him, and then after he formed it, they transferred it back to Japan. Absolutely sensational gameplay. At least the Dzungar Khanate isn't part of this. As we've established before, they are actually a sort of buffer state of Russia, and Russia isn't exactly allied to this hug box. A very important thing I need to point out is that this is a nerfed China. The population is a third of what it would normally be on a vanilla based population. This is a nerf for gameplay and multiplayer balance, not anything to do with history at all. But they're still extremely powerful, and everyone around the rest of the world is looking at them with fear, wondering what moves they and the rest of this alliance will make. Stay tuned for future episodes of the Bavaria series to see what is going to happen next in North America, which has just taken another insane turn as Vinland backstabs Gran Colombia. 
The Belgian Confederacy is watching on while still licking his wounds from his very recent defeat. In Europe, the dual monarchy is slowly but surely recovering from his disasters, and the whole continent is anticipating more wars, the fate of Burgundy, the tense situation between the Albians and the Danubians, a potential formation of England by Bjornia who's got a foothold there now, even though they're sort of rebelling against him, the rising power of the Ottomans, Poland-Lithuania's comeback against Russia, it's all happening here. Stay tuned in the series, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on to find out what happens next. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like the video. You know the drill, join the Discord on the new fancy link, support me on Patreon, follow me on Twitch for good streams. I know we all missed the spam bot outro, but I've got a new one to test out. It might cause some monetization issues because it's a bit edgy, but look out for it in a few seconds. GG, that was fun, see you guys next week. I'm assuming I don't blow my brains out, which I might.